My name is Alex Yuryev. I am the head of Site Reliability Engineering for Livestream, which basically means that I am responsible for the platform uh, and all of its components, ranging from the video streaming to the CDN to the delivery uh, to acquisition of the video content uh, from the CDN onto the storage to uh, storing it and to delivering it from the storage to the customers uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We are a live event company. It is our belief that you can vastly increase um, the audience for events uh, that people have uh, by live streaming them, whether or not it's uh, you know, something like uh, launch of a space shuttle, the concerts, to uh, soccer games. We provide the technology that allows a producer of this event or you know, whoever throws the event coordinator uh, to pop a video camera connected to the internet, push a button, and uh, this event instantaneously becomes available within like seconds to anybody who tunes in. So for us, one of the things that we do is uh, the live video content that you now a person creates, um, we convert it after it is live to video on demand. So we have an enormous amount of uh, video that we need to be able to access as if um, it was live. So instantaneous access is super important. Um, and uh, our big issue was that was cost. Um, when your library is starting to be measured in petabytes, the uh, concept of paying thousands of dollars a terabyte is just prohibitively expensive. And considering the, the rate that we are growing, um, the amount of video content that now is being created, and the fact that this video content typically does not, you know, the customers, our customers never want it to go away, so they do not delete it. Um, their libraries become bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And the biggest cost that we had actually was the individual storage servers because they simply did not take enough drives. The obvious pain point was we have to do something in order for us to be able to provide this service without having to impose some sort of limits. We just started failing out uh, the low density storage servers and replacing them with the newer high density ones and would fail out two um, for every two servers that we, sorry, for every four servers that we fail out, we just add, uh, add two storage in later. And we always add them in pairs uh, because we would like to double write, we would like to at least double write. And for some of the content, we triple write it. Like all the storage nators, they're all connected at uh, 20 gigabits per second to our uh, 100 gigabit core uh, for, that is used just for the video. Uh, it's much better to be able to serve content and write content at the same time without creating any sort of bottlenecks. So the bigger our footprint in originators, the actually easier it is for us to distribute that because it allows us not to have a single point, uh, a single choke point for uh, the load. I'm definitely going to replace probably all of the uh, low density storage servers with the high density ones because in the same rack, I will be able to put three petabytes rather than, you know, 300 terabytes. It's a significant in, uh, improvement and significant cost savings. So it makes perfect sense for me. Uh, objectively, I just I really like the simplicity that uh, you know our partnership provides uh, provides us now. We have enormous we have enormous pool of technical talent in the company. But to be honest. It makes no sense for me to have those people work on solving a problem that 45 Drive solved for us uh, at a really, really, really good cost in a super high quality. And it just, it just makes perfect sense for me to outsource that part of my problematic uh, you know, hardware integration work to somebody who knows how to do it, does it well, and allows me to concentrate on something that you know, we do which is the video streaming.